Is Kate Middleton and Prince William's marriage crumbling on the anniversary of Princess Diana and Prince Charles' divorce 19 years ago? Just like with Charles and Diana's doomed relationship, there has been many signs that the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are having marriage troubles. Kate and Prince William's relationship has eerily taken a similar course, beset with woes, beginning with the fact William wanted to marry Isabella Calthorpe rather than Kate Middleton like Prince Charles wanted to marry Camilla Parker Bowles, not Lady Di. The aristocratic model was very interested in Wills, but turned him down because she was unwilling to endure the strains of royal life. Calthorpe moved on, marrying Sam Branson, but rumors of Prince William's wandering eye persist beyond Isabella. Princess Diana and Prince Charles endured 14 years of marriage that was filled with stress, infidelity, heartache. Diana knew Charles was still in love with Camilla Parker Bowles just before she walked down the aisle, but the then Lady Diana Spencer hoped the affair would end once she married Prince Charles. As we all know, the infidelity between Prince Charles and Camilla Parker Bowles did not end, and Diana and Charles continued their marriage because, as Princess Diana told BBC's Martin Bashir during an interview in 1995, they didn't want to disappoint the public. Kate and William have seen firsthand how their split would be handled. During their month-long separation in September 2014, Kate Middleton took refuge at her parents' home in Bucklebury, while Prince William continued her royal duties. Eventually, Queen Elizabeth had enough and forced the two to reconcile at Balmoral Castle. By late October, Kate was back to making public appearances and attending to royal duties. Diana quickly learned how to use the media to her advantage, but Kate has known how to work a camera and manipulate the royal family. Where Diana was naive, Kate Middleton is skilled. Princess Diana once noted, here was a fairy story that everybody wanted to work. So it was isolating, but it was also a situation where you cold tea indulge in feeling sorry for yourself. You had to either sink or swim and you had to learn that very fast. Princess Kate Middleton swam from the start and has been instituting her family as rightly class values from the moment she walked down the aisle. The Middleton rules, as some senior members of the royal circle dubbed them, insist on a family-oriented lifestyle that often breaks royal protocol. However, Kate's control and the march of the Middletons may be overstepping the bounds. The Duchess and her family are constantly feuding with Queen Elizabeth, and Kate has taken to controlling Prince William and his schedule, ruling with an iron fist. The stress of the royal lifestyle, the fact that Kate is Prince William's second choice, and the war between the Middletons and the Queen has led to the Duchess shying away from the public and battling depression rumors as she becomes reclusive. Diana also succumbed to depression. The people's princess openly explained her sadness stating, When no one is listening to you, all you feel when no one is listening to you, all sorts of things start to happen. For instance, you have so much pain inside yourself that you try and hurt yourself on the outside because you want to help, Princess Diana explained. But it is the wrong help you are asking for. People see it as crying wolf or attention seeking, and they think, because you are in the media all of the time, you've got enough attention. But I was actually crying out because I wanted to get better in order to go forward and to continue my duty and my role as wife, mother, Princess of Wales. The contrast between Kate and Diana shows in how they are responding to downfalls of depression and the pressure of marrying into royalty. The Duchess of Cambridge has snubbed social events, taken extra time away from her royal duties, and is currently planning a Middleton family vacation in November after royal aides have stated Kate plans on returning to her royal engagements in the fall. Conversely, Princess Diana revealed in the support and adoration of the public and media, I was compelled to perform. When I say perform, I was compelled to go out and do my engagements and not let people down and support them and love them, Diana said. In a way, by being out in public, they supported me although they weren't aware of just how much healing they were giving me. It carried me through. Kate Middleton will hardly go quietly into the shadows. The Duchess loves to evoke the feeling of Diana whenever she can, despite her alleged displeasure with the constant comparisons. Every outfit Kate wears and even the clothes she dresses Prince George and Prince Charlotte in are reminiscent of Princess Diana. The two appear to be intertwined sharing similarities that ended in tragedy for Lady Diana Spencer. Prince William, being front and center for his mother and father's crumbling marriage, is likely on damage control. The Duke of Cambridge has maintained a happy public image, 
but what is going on behind the scenes must be incredibly stressful. When it came to splitting, Diana admitted it was actually a relief in some ways asserting, we had struggled to keep it going, but obviously we ran out of steam. In a way, I suppose it could have been a relief for us both that we had finally made our minds up. But my husband